You're watching Cartel TV and I'm Simone. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. In this video, I check out the rather civilized and environmentally conscious Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit Reserve 4xE. It's Jeep's enthusiastic foray into the electrified domain, melding their traditional off-road prowess with a newfound environmental sensibility. It's part of Jeep's push towards a future it refers to as zero emission freedom. Loving it, Jeep. Let's see if they've done enough in offering a capable 4x4 that also offers fuel efficiency and a welcome hint of electrification. Aesthetically, the Grand Cherokee 4xE maintains Jeep's familiar robust silhouette, but it's been given a rather suave makeover. You have a palette of colours that sound like they've been borrowed from an artist's studio. Midnight Sky, Hydro Blue and Baltic Grey, to name a few. The gloss black roof, coupled with 21-inch alloy wheels, endows it with a touch of metropolitan elegance. It's rather like a rugged explorer who's decided to don a dinner jacket. They just have a presence, and the latest design seen here with the Jeep 4xE is no exception. It effortlessly blends a robust, commanding stance with sleek modern lines, creating an aesthetic that's both imposing and sophisticated. Underneath this refined exterior lies a two-litre plug-in hybrid, part of the Stellantis Global medium engine family. It has a combined output of 280 kilowatts and a rather impressive 637 newton metres of torque. When it comes to all-electric range, the Jeep 4xE offers around 52 kilometres. Let us not forget the great promise of the plug-in hybrid, which is that they're best used as plug-in vehicles 90% of the time, with a petrol tank as backup. That's a little less than many other FEBs on the market today, but I guess still suitable for the average daily commute. The combined fuel economy is listed at 3.2 litres per 100 kilometres, which is a nice offering considering its size and weight of 2,722 kilograms. Charging on your regular power point is just under 10 hours and is reduced to under 3 hours if you have a 7 kilowatt charger installed. There are so many different modes, settings and just ways to drive this Jeep 4xE that it's like a buffet of driving options. I'll start with my obvious favourite, which is all electric mode. It's whisper quiet and it almost feels strange to have such a big vehicle be so stealthy. The transition from all electric to hybrid mode isn't as smooth as I would have liked. It's a noticeable jump and takes away from the relaxed EV state of driving. There's a decent regen braking system that is always on regardless of which mode you drive in and helps allow for maximum efficiency. When it comes to off-road capability, this Jeep is equipped with an array of impressive features that really enhance its prowess. The Jeep Quadratrack 2 4x4 system, coupled with select terrain and quadralift air suspension, along with adaptive damping, significantly boosts its off-road capability. This suite of technologies underscores a key differentiator. The Grand Cherokee 4xE isn't just another suburban SUV. Jeep didn't forget its off-road origins when they made this plug-in hybrid. It's still a capable off-roader, maintaining their heritage of rugged all-terrain vehicles. When you first enter the vehicle, it definitely feels opulent. But on closer examination, I'm not sure quite how premium the finishings are. They've thought of every feature possible and jam-packed it in. I won't run through them all, but I do want to highlight some of my favourites. There's an optional 10.25-inch passenger display screen that's very special. There's a dual-pane sunroof. The Palermo leather seats are heated and ventilated up the front and for the second rows, and the front seats have massage functions. I always feel so spoilt when we get this feature. There's a 19-speaker Macintosh audio system that sounds fantastic, despite the fact that there's a bit of overkill with the logo appearing pretty much everywhere. There are two standard USB and two USB-C mounts conveniently up the front here. They allow for your connectivity with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Apple CarPlay can also be wirelessly connected. The last feature I do want to mention is the ambient lighting. It's very elegant and you have a range of colours and moods to choose from. There is a heap of boot space and accessing the boot is easy and convenient with a hands-free powered tailgate that you can easily operate with your foot. It's great for opening it, but for closing it, I wish there was a button, unless perhaps I'm just missing it. In terms of safety, the Grand Cherokee 4xE is like a protective bubble. It's equipped with advanced driver assistance systems, including adaptive cruise control and pedestrian automatic emergency braking. The optional night vision camera is particularly noteworthy, and there's also a very handy surround view camera. There are also several different parking assist options that help you squeeze into spaces like a pro with this larger SUV. The price tag, admittedly, is not for the faint-hearted. It's $129,950, and that's not including on-roads. However, considering the technological advancements and the luxurious features, 
it seems Jeep is aiming for a market that values the fusion of luxury, capability and environmental consciousness. To sum up, the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit Reserve 4xe is a pretty compelling proposition. It's a vehicle that seems to have looked at the electric future and decided to embrace it wholeheartedly, without shedding its rugged, adventurous DNA. It's a statement of modern luxury and environmental responsibility, a combination that is becoming increasingly relevant in our times. For those who can afford it, it represents a harmonious blend of off-road capability, luxury and eco-friendliness. It's nice to see an offering of this type and it really has me watching this space with interest because I'm hoping that these are the early steps from Jeep towards a pure electric model in the very close future. Thanks for watching Cartel TV. Now, is this price tag warranted for an offering that's a plug-in hybrid and not fully electric? Let us know in the comments below and you'll see me in my next review.